As shootings happen at schools, many of us wonder why. How could someone do such a horrendous thing? What went wrong in their life? Well, you're about to find out. I sat down with a man who was this close to shooting up his school, and his powerful message caught the attention of a San Diego filmmaker. I had a really rough childhood. And that's an understatement when you hear about Aaron Stark's upbringing. The now 40-year-old says growing up with drug-addicted parents, shuffling him in and out of schools while running from the law was a living hell. This terrible, horrible abuse on every kind of spectrum that you could think of. Physical, emotional, sexual, every kind of abuse. The abuse created, as he calls it, a tsunami of pain. <sighs> About 13, 14 years old, after hating myself so much and having everybody in my life tell me I was worthless constantly and tell me how terrible I was and I would never amount to anything, I really started to internalize that. I, I took that darkness and started to wear it like I was a shield. Aaron began cutting himself and nearly took his own life. The only bit of light for Aaron, his friend Mike, who let him sleep in his backyard shed. When you really don't have anything left to care about and you really don't have anything left to, 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 that can hurt you, then you just don't care. In 1996, he made a deal with a drug dealer to get a gun and plotted to shoot up his North Denver High School. If you think that there's a profile of a shooter, that's a problem. The only thing that's real is the pain involved. So much pain he didn't care to live and didn't care if he took his classmates down with him. But then, right before getting his hands on that gun... The love of a friend. That's the only thing that stopped me. His friend Mike stepped in, started a conversation with him, and showed Aaron that he wasn't alone. Being treated like a person when you don't even feel like you're a human will change your entire life. And it changed mine. And instead of going to get the gun, I sat at Mike's house for four days. Aaron is now married with four children. After last year's mass shooting in Parkland, Florida, that left 17 people dead, he decided to share his story on social media. Reach out and talk. Open up. Talk. There's someone who will listen. You're not alone. You are not alone. This world is hard. This life is really hard to go through. And there's a lot of pain, but you are not alone. I was almost a school shooter. Aaron also shared his story during a TEDx presentation. It was about the largest amount of damage in the shortest amount of time. It struck such a chord, the video has been viewed nearly 10 million times. He stopped me with his acts of kindness from committing that atrocity that day. And one of the only people who can back up Aaron's story of life's struggles and pain, his friend Mike was in attendance. The friend who saved my life, he's in the audience today too. Because friendship doesn't have to really die. The emotional speech caught the attention of San Diego filmmaker Johnny Santana. I break down crying at work and I realize this is the story that we need to tell as a community. Santana took to social media to find volunteers to help him make a film about Aaron's story. 150 San Diegans, actors, businesses, vendors helped create the film called Just Another Tuesday. It shows how you don't have to go through if your dark thoughts and your suicidal thoughts, there's always hope and there's always light if you're able to find it. That's why the movie that we made is Just Another Tuesday. It's That's what Mike made me feel. It was Just Another Tuesday. The disaster in your life is going to pass. You're going to make it through it if you just keep going and don't give up. Promoting that powerful message is now part of Aaron's life mission. If I can help one person see that they matter when they don't feel like they're worth it, then I'm going to keep going no matter what. Aaron started a Facebook page called You Are Not Alone. It has 2,100 followers, and in less than two years, Aaron says the site has helped prevent 11 suicides and has stopped three school shootings. We put a link to it at CBS8.com. Just click on the hot button. Aaron and Johnny are hoping the film, Just Another Tuesday, will be shown in all schools to drive home the message of empathy, hope, and compassion.